Hi everyone, MotionGraphic.com here. Today I would like to show you how to create this cool glitch logo reveal. You can also download this project with the link below in the description. Without further ado, let's start it. Alright, let's start it by creating a composition. Now we create a solid layer and name it Map 1. Apply Effect Gradient Ramp on this layer. Drag it to this layer. We also need Effects Posterize too. Drag it to the layer. In Effects Controls put Posterize Level to 25. Control D to duplicate the layer. Change the name of this layer to Map 2. We hide it by clicking this eye icon. Let's go back to Map 1. Click Swap Colors for Gradient Ramp. Now we click on this Anchor Point tool. This tool will allow us to move Layer Anchor Point. Hold Control while dragging the Anchor Point so it will snap to the top corner. Press S to scale. Untick this chain icon and scale Y axis to 50%. We can hide this Map 1 layer now. And unhide Map 2 layer. Similar to Map 1 we want to use Anchor Point and hold down Control button but we want it snaps to middle bottom. We also want to scale Y axis to 50%. Unhide map one layer. And now we create another solid layer. Name it mask. Move timeline to one second. Press S to scale and create a keyframe here. Go to frame zero and put the scale of Y axis to zero. Now choose the mode Stencil Alpha, so this layer will become Alpha Mask for all layers below it. Select all these three layers and pre-compose it. Name it Map, and click OK. I just make my preview fit to my screen here. Now let's import our logo. Hide the map layer for a moment. Drag motion graphic logo into the comp. Press S to scale, and adjust the scale of the logo. Pre-compose logo layer. Let's create a camera. Click on this box to turn logo layer to become 3D layer. Now we create a null layer. Pick whip camera layer to this null layer. So now we will use this layer will control the camera. Make sure you turn this camera control layer to become 3D layer too. We are going to use this layer to animate the logo. Press R to rotate. We animate the Y axis. We will animate the scale too. Select all keyframes and press F9 to smooth the animation. Select a scale keyframe and go to Animation Graph. 
Right here I try to make the animation slow at the beginning then fast in the middle and slow down after that. I'm making the Y rotation animation having the same animation speed. Ok let's have a look of the animation. Now we select these three layers, and pre-compose them. To make the animation look cooler, so I want to change the color of logo. We use fill effects to change the color of the logo. Back to main comp. Let's create an adjustment layer and name it TD which is for time displacement. Let's apply time displacement map effect on TD layer. Drag it to the layer. Change this to map layer. And change this to effects and mask. Time resolution should be 30. Ok so we have some interesting animation now. Select logo animation layer. And apply effects Vegas. This effects will create only outline of the object. The segments will be 1. Color as white. Blend mode as transparent. Midpoint opacity is 1. Midpoint position as 0.999. Ok let's have a look of the animation. Select all these three and pre-compose them. Name logo stroke animation. Duplicate this stroke animation by Ctrl D. Name the new composition logo fill animation. Let's go in this composition and edit something. Logo animation layer does not need this Vegas effect anymore. Back to the main comp. I change the label this layer to red. Duplicate it and change its label to green. Duplicate another one and label it blue. Let's apply shift channels to red layer. Change the take red from red and the other to full off. Copy the effects to green layer but take green from green and others are full off. Similarly for blue layer. Take blue from blue and others are full off. Now move each layer one frame later compare with the below layer. Let's have a look of the animation. Oh yeah! It's getting there. Ok let's drag logo fill animation into the comp. And now we will do it the same way with logo stroke animation. Change the label, duplicate it, and apply shift channels effects for each layer. Now move each layer one frame later compare with the below layer. Let's have a look of the animation. So we want the stroke animation reveal first then the solid logo animation will be revealed. Go to logo fill animation comp. Go to time one second. And cut the first second animation. Let's go back to main comp and have a look. Ok we are so closed now. Click toggle switches here to show the mode. Select these layers and put them in screen mode. Here we go. 
OK, let's make it look even better. Let's create an adjustment layer. Put it only above stroke animation layers. Then apply glow effect in this layer. Put glow radius 25. And glow intensity is 5. Let's have a look. Okay, it's pretty much finished here, but I want to show you some more tips. Go to Logo Animation Comp. Duplicate these layers. For the old layers, pre compose them. And name Logo Movement 1. Hide this layer. Now I want to animate the logo different way. So I create keyframe for position. And animate the logo position. Select these keyframe in F9. Click here to show position speed graph. Adjust the graph to make the position animation go slow first then fast in the middle and slow out. OK so we have a new logo animation movement. Let's go back to main comp to have a look. You can see that the glitch logo is revealed differently now. Here is another example by changing logo animation movement. Yeah look cool right? So if you want a different result, just be creative by changing the logo animation movement. Then you can pre, compose each animation and you can switch those animation by hide and unhide the comps. Okay that's it for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Peace out.